They're worried some diseases could be making a comeback. Lauren. Neil Casey, as students go back to school, they have to show proof of vaccination of certain diseases like measles and whooping cough, but parents have a lot more questions than they used to. When you hear the word vaccine, you may automatically think COVID. There is still that segment of the population out there that has a vaccine fear. The truth is the COVID-19 shot is just one of many vaccines. They protect not just your kid, but really the whole community. Vaccines have been around for centuries and doctors say they are a proven defense against diseases. We put together gradually over time our, our modern immunization schedule and we have seen those rates of childhood serious illnesses drop down to very low numbers. Deadly illnesses like polio and measles are extremely rare now because of vaccines, but doctors fear that if less people vaccinate their children, those numbers will eventually rise again. There's risk now that if we back up, um, on our immunization rates that we'll see the return of those illnesses, polio, measles. While the COVID shot brought fears about vaccines for some, for others, it reminded them to stay caught up with their other vaccines. It did bring back to the public's mind what a vaccine is and what vaccinations they need. Pharmacist David Davis says every vaccine goes through lots of trials and approval measures before it's given to the public. He says it's a greater risk to not get a shot. It's far better to get vaccinated than run the risk of catching whatever you don't want to be vaccinated for because those results can be far, far worse. He recommends speaking with your pharmacist or doctor if you have questions or concerns about vaccines. And just a reminder, students who are not up to date on those vaccine requirements have to get that in before the start of the school year. We do have a list of those requirements on our website. That is KTK.com. I'm live in Tyler, Lauren Margolis, KTK News.